Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a request from Kimo Haskonen to play Jump Higher by Pelton and Hekia. <laughs> Haha, lots of jumping and other things to do. Easy test anyway, made by blah and blah. Uh, that's usually not a good sign, and this is especially not a good sign, but I will humor the request and hopefully give some good feedback. Alright, so the, the map design, right off the bat, I can tell you, the way that everything is laid out looks very haphazard. It's, uh, it's not particularly inviting. It looks like a mess, to be honest. I'll say that much. It looks like a mess. I don't even know where to start, but it looks like the only thing I can do right now is this. Oh, so I can get some, some velocity from that. What does this do? There's no signage on this button. So, I have no idea what it does, or why I would ever want to press it. This has signage. Is this... is that a flip panel or an angle panel? I think it's an angle panel, because flip panels usually have the border, right? Yeah, I don't know what this button does. Oh. What? Why doesn't it have signage? This has signage, but not this? Why is that a thing? Alright, well now- now this- these are here. Those need signage. You always need to have signage in everything. Everything should always have signage. That way the player knows what it does. At least, you know... By signage, I mean ant lines as well. Like, either ant lines or the little glyphs. And this also needs signage. Like, if you- if you make some more room around the dropper here, it will have signage. So, yeah. Alright, so we've got a laser cube with a very easy puzzle, but we can't do anything with it, it doesn't seem. Well, there is what appears to be a laser out there. Oh, I see why this stuff doesn't have signage. What the? Oh, right, because of the... Yeah, that's, that's just a glitch. That happens when, uh, you have a portal on an angled panel and the angled panel goes away. It leaves behind some collision that objects can collide with. Team Spin explained it to me one time, and I forgot how it works. So I see now that there appears to be some outside logic. And, uh... I used to do outside logic too, and, and the issue has always been signage, but I've discovered that instead, if, if, you, if you make the outside logic visible, like behind a glass window or something, and just leave the signage on, players can generally figure it out. Or, you could also use Bmod and do the signage manually, so that way you can have outside logic and still have signage. Okay, so what's the point of this? That- that faceplate launching up to this button seems, to me, to be very, very pointless. There's- there's no challenge, there's no puzzle, it's just a distraction. Still don't know where this laser cube needs to go, but I'm going to guess that I need to leave it right about... here, perhaps. Let's go ahead and save at this point. I'll put a portal there, because I know my other portal going away. Yep, that's exactly what I thought had happened. And, uh, apparently I placed that a bit too high, or... Oh, well, that'll work. Alright, I don't know what that does, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, it probably turns off the fizzlers, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it does. Oh, and it also spawns something else, apparently. Did that- did those fizzles have signage? They don't appear to have signage, when they totally could. This doesn't appear to have signage, and it could. Why is it embedded in the wall like that? Strange. Alright, well this cube is spawned, we can enter here, and get more stuff without signage. I'm guessing this is some stairs without signage that will be activated when I press this button without signage. Come on, press the button. Yep. The button without signage activates the stairs without signage. What does this do? Takes me to a funnel. Okay. Wait, that... See, this is why it needs to have signage. I did not know it was on a timer. Wow, that went long. <laughs> it, it broke the laser beam and, and uh, respawned itself. That's funny. Well. Yeah, definitely this should not be a timer button. I'm pretty sure it should just be permanent, because... In fact, I don't even know why that button exists. These stairs should just be here, period, no matter what. Although, where do we need to take this? I don't remember seeing any place to put a cube. And that's another thing, is that this faceplate, as you just saw, I don't have to do the puzzle as intended, I can just strafe over here. Uh, yeah, so... 
this this whole flinging stuff that you had set up, I'm afraid is completely pointless, because I can still get up here without the puzzle being set up the way you meant it to be. Alright, so. Let's see if we can find a place to put this. Probably not here, right? Yeah, okay. Maybe I need to carry it over the fizzler in this other room here. Maybe. Alright, what is all this thing? Oh. Maybe I needed it up here? What does this do? Oh, maybe I needed to put the cube up there, huh? Alright then. Well, we have a task at hand. Not much I can do about that, so I need to go replace my portals here. In order to get the laser... ...activated again. There we go. That will respawn the cube. I'm not sure why that's connected to respawning the cube. Really, this could just be set to auto-drop and auto-respawn. Then I have to press this button again and walk up these stairs again. Really not sure why it's designed that way. It's kind of a chaotic mess. Alright, so. Oh wait, I needed to... I need to use this space plate to put the cube up here. Which is not so much of a puzzle and more of a... a guess and check. There we go. That's much harder than it needs to be because of the faceplate trajectory. Alright, walk back up these stairs again. And hopefully this time, when we stand on the button... Also, that's a bit dangerous. That's, that could be a bit of a trapping situation. Might want to consider using a death grill instead of an angled panel like that. Alright, so. Hopefully this will work as intended. Alright, that turns on a light bridge, and I'm guessing it's also turned off the death grill in here, right? Yep. Again, no signage, so... Really, I just have to make educated guesses and hope that things will work out in the end, because none of these things have signage. You need to have signage on everything. Alright, we need to put a cube there, but first we need to find a way to disable this fizzler, but since there's no signage, I have no idea what could possibly disable it. Maybe this spawns the cube? Yeah, why is- why is the dropper nested in there so that I can't see that it's connected? Oh, and look, the button also did that. Without signage, I have no way to know that that's what would've happened. Also, what's even the point of that? That's not a challenge. This- this doesn't challenge me because as soon as I press the button to get the cube, it just turns the fizzler off. So... I don't- I don't see the point of doing that. That seems pointless. And... Is that what it got activated? I'm not exactly sure what just happened there. Also, this is a trapping situation. Uh, if I fall in here, I have no way to get out now. So, that's an immediate downvote, already. Trapping situations are not okay. Yeah, I have- I have no way to get out, I don't think. With this cube in here, I might be able to do something. Come on. Yeah, there's- there's no way for me to get out without no clipping. Alright, so... What I wanted to find out... That is the flip panel, okay. But who knows what it's for? Okay, well I can launch myself into it. Oh, and I can also stand on an invisible ledge there. Wow, I didn't know flip panels created invisible ledges. Today I learned. That's also suspicious. How do I get out of here? That- that's the exit. Oh, I didn't even- you need to have some lights here, like, put- put some lights around, because it's really, really dark in here, and I can't see what anything is. I had no idea there was a portal surface there. Also, the way this is designed is just, as I've said, very chaotic. Doesn't make much sense to me. Alright, so there's that. What does this button do? I'm assuming this button untraps us. Okay. So that made a cube. I come up here. I heard it launch on the faceplate. That's probably what... Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Alright. I see now. So 
So that also wasn't really much of a challenge, because you just give us the cube once we press the button, and then we immediately put it on the cube button. So, yeah. This puzzle was overall not a puzzle. So if you- if you update the map, and make a bunch of fixes, and dramatically redesign the chamber, then I will consider replaying it, if you want. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!